Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, show you some more stuff in Gravit. Um, your next assignment is to do a comic book cover in Gravit. So um, now you can draw it out first and then trace it over in Gravit. And I'll show you how to do that when you guys want to do that. But for right now, I thought we would just play a little bit. So you remember how I always said to change this to inches and then make it a certain size? But this time we're making a comic book cover, so it's going to be eight and a half by 11. So the easiest way to do that is to click right here where it says paper size. And then go up here where it says U.S. letter portrait. That's eight and a half by 11. So now we've got it. So now I'm going to start making, you're going to make a creature. I want you to make your own little creature that's going to be on your, your, your hero or your, your bad guy, or whatever your, your comic book is going to be. So think, be thinking about a, a comic book character that you would like to make. So I'm going to start with an ellipse. So I'm going to make a head and I'm going to figure out my color. I think I'll make him orange. And I want him to have an outline. So I'm going to come right here where it says borders. And here, my picture's in the way. So that could, yeah, there we go. So where it says borders, I'm going to click on the plus. And then by default, it's black and it's one point. And that's what I want. So, so there's my, my head. Now I'm going to give him some eyes. So I'm going to do an ellipse again. And I'm going to do one right here because that's where that eye is going to be. And I want that eye to be white. So I want it to be white. And I want it to have a border as well. And the default. So thank goodness for that. So now that I've made the one, I want to copy that one and bring it over here. So I'm going to select it. And I'm going to hold the Alt key on my keyboard. And that allows me to, to, to click and drag. And when I do that, it copies it. Okay, now I'm going to put a little black in there. So I'm going to come back up here, get that ellipse again, and, and make another one right there. But I need it to be black. So I want to fill it and make it black. Now, it's going to be really hard for me. I'm going to try because I want to copy it, hold it. Uh, see, it, it, it doesn't work right. So here's your undo button right here is the undo. So I'm going to click and undo. Now what I need to do is I need to zoom up so I can, I can one, I can do right here. See that zooms up hitting that plus sign. That'll zoom it up. Now that it's zoomed up, now I can do the alt and copy it. It's easier when I zoom in. Plus when you zoom in, you can, you can just, you know, sometimes you need to zoom in. And I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard just to click that, just move it just a little bit. A little bit. Okay, now I'm going to zoom down. So over here's the minus. Okay. Now, I want to give him a funny looking nose. So here's what I'm going to do with the nose. I'm going to do, again, I'm going to do this ellipse. I'm going to do it up here because I want to play with it a little bit, play with the shape. Now, I want it to be the same color as this. So watch what I do now. I'm going to come over here and hit the eyedropper tool. And when I do that, it's going to give me this. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click. I'm going to click on my face. And guess what? It's the same color. The only thing it is it doesn't copy the, the outline. So I'm going to come up back over here to the border and, and do that and give him that outline. Now he's got that outline. Now I want to play with the anchor points. So if I do this, all that does is is distort one way. It just stretches. It it doesn't uh, doesn't really allow me to play with those anchor points. So to do that, what I've got to do is I've got to come up here and I've got to change this to the sub select. And it still won't let me do much. So what I've got to do is I've got to hold the shift, the command, and the P. And then when I do that now, and it might be shift control P on your computer. On mine, it's the command. But see, now when I click on those anchor points, look look what it does. It really allows me to distort. And not only that, but when I click on those, it gives me these little handles. Now, what those handles do is they change the, 
the curve. They, they allow me to change the curve. So I could do a really weird looking uh, nose if I want. Because he's going to have a funny looking nose. Now I'm going to uh, come back up here to the pointer so I can do this. And I want to rotate it a little bit. I'm going to rotate him and put him on there. I think the nose is too big. So I want to make him smaller. Yeah, maybe that nose will kind of cover up one of those eyes a little bit. There. <clears throat> now I just got to make a, a mouth. Now, oops, if this happens to you, if this comes up, don't hit no, you'll lose it. Hit yes. So if that comes up on you, you hit yes. And then right here, go ahead and give it a title so, so it'll be easier for you to find next time. And I'm going to call it my or creature. I'm just going to call it creature. And then I'm going to hit save. Uh, there we go. Okay, so so there there's my the start of my creature. Now I can decide if I want ears, uh, I want a mouth. What do I want on there? And then how do I want to create it? So I, there again, I'm going to do the oval. So I'm going to some. Let's see, what do I want an open mouth? Maybe I do want that to be black. Let's make it black. Now I want to play with the shape of it. So again, I'm going to come up here to the sub select and I'm going to hit the shift command P. And now I want to play with my points a little bit. <clears throat> there, there's my, now I'm going to come back up here the pointer, or I call it a move tool. Okay, now, here's the thing. I want that mouth to be under the nose, but in front of the face. Right now it's over the nose. So I've got to click on it, and I want to send it to the back, but I only want to send it back to the back once because I want it to be in front of the face. So right up here is the bring element forward, or bring element backward. So I'm gonna take it backward. So I'm gonna click and there. And now it went backward once. So there's my mouth. And I, I don't know, do I want a tongue sticking out? Maybe I wanna make a tongue sticking out. So I'm gonna come back to this. Um, I think I'll do it with the rectangle. I'm gonna show you a different way to do this. So I'm gonna take my rectangle. And now you see those corners. So now I'm gonna come here to the sub select and now see how and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see that better. You see the little red dots. Now if I don't make make the, if I don't do the shift command and P, I don't make it a path. But because it's a rectangle and it's got these corners and see these red dots, what they will that will do is it'll watch it it'll, it'll curve those corners. So I can curve those corners as much as I want. So there, that there's my tongue, and I want it to be red. So I'm going to come over here and make it red. I think I want a darker red. And since down here it gives you colors, but up here it's going to give you more values. I think I want it to be a kind of a dark, dark red. Get the right red. So I'm going to click right there. There, I want it to be that color. And again, I want it. I want to give it a a border. So when I click there, it automatically gives it that border, which is really nice. And I'm going to come up here to the my pointer because now I'm going to put him in my mouth. And that's too big. And I want to, I think, maybe I'll do it this way. But I'm going to have to make it smaller. I think it's too big. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to make it smaller. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know. L let me put him to the back and see what he looks like. I want him to the back. There we go, just once. And he's sticking out. I don't know if I want it. Like I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want it. Maybe I don't want it. Let me bring it to the front. So, so you may have to do that. You may have to play and say, you know, do I want this? Do I want that? So I really need you going in there and playing. And I want you to play. Uh, 
a lot. So, so really get in there and play. And I am too. So I'm going to be working on it too. And, and as I work on it, I'll add to my video. So, so there I've got that. And I'm going to do one last thing before I go. I could give him some eyebrows and some hair, but, but I'll do that next time. Right now, I want to group all that together. So I'm going to make a big rectangle around everything. So that's all grouped together. Group it. Now that's all grouped together. So now that, that'll work, that, that stays together, okay? So now I'm gonna do the last thing I'm gonna do is, is good. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now I've already saved it once, so all I have to do is click right here for the, that save right there. So I just click right there. And now that, that saves it and it's still saved as creature and it, and it tells you right there, it's creature saved, okay? So that's it for now. I'm gonna share this video with you. We're gonna watch it tomorrow.